We are childhood friends, Vicki and Diana. In October of 2021, we flew from our homes in Seattle out to Las Vegas, Nevada to stay at the MGM Resort International's 3,933-room Bellagio Resort. We spent our first full day on the Las Vegas Strip, checking out the hotels. Come along and explore with us. We started off here at the Bellagio, and then we walked across the street to Hollywood. What's interesting, oh. if you've never been to Vegas, is that every hotel, casino, venue has its own kind of theme. So, like, you know how one section of Disneyland is about one thing? Well, each hotel is kind of its own little world that you're stepping into. Planet Hollywood was a different world than the Bellagio. Yep. <laughs> the, Bla the Bellagio is pretty upscale. It's considered a five-star resort. Uh, Planet Hollywood, not. No. no. That's where the Planet Hollywood reminded me of the Muckle Shoot at Home. And that's not a bad thing. It's just it's not the Bellagio. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> it's a more laid back less expensive feel. Yeah. More casual. We have a Rolex and a Tiffany's in the shopping area in ours. Right. And we were able to eat at Planet Hollywood at the Panda Express. Panda Express. <laughs> yeah. So uh, that's more scaled down lunch at the, yeah. Panda, at, at the Planet Hollywood, at the mall, the Miracle Mile shop, something attached to. Yeah. Not the Chicago Miracle Mile. No. it's It was more like the malls at home. Yeah. It was a lot more like a mall at home. And it had a rain feature. And so we got all excited because every hour on the hour you can go watch the rain feature. And so we went to watch it. It was a drizzle feature. We're it from is. Seattle. It doesn't even count as rain. Yeah, yeah. Not even close. No. It was, it, I don't think it was working. And I think something wasn't right. <laughs> yeah. they should Because the mist but... didn't come. The lights didn't turn on. The water just kind of popped up like pretend rain. Like when you go to Disneyland and you're on the Pirates of the Caribbean and the water plops because the fake cannonballs have landed. It was the fake raindrops landing. <laughs> Planet Hollywood probably more like what I'm used to day to day. I'm not, I don't live a really five star resort lifestyle, but maybe on vacation I want things a little nicer than I live them day to day. Yeah. And that was not the Planet Hollywood experience. And then we're- Paris, we went to the Paris Hotel. Oh, we and we Paris. liked the Paris Hotel. This, um, the Bellagio is an Italian theme. Bellagio is a town in Italy. The Paris was a French theme, and Vicky and I took French in high school. Vicky took more French than me. And I I've been to Paris a couple of times, so I French. liked it. <laughs> yeah, and I haven't been to Paris. And she liked it, and if you like fake Paris, then that's a good sign that they did a good job of it. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. otherwise, you just go, oh, this is a fake Paris. Right. But it was cute. It's like being a real pirate on the Pirates of Caribbean, right? Right. <laughs> but you were... You liked it. I liked it too. I liked the French feel. They're not completely reopened from the popular disease. So some of the stores were still closed. You couldn't go up in the Eiffel Tower. Yeah. And so that was kind of a bummer. I think Vicky keeps saying, on our next trip, we'll stay at Paris. Next trip. Next trip. We came home because we had to have a nap. And then we went back out again and we went over across the way that way to the Cosmopolitan. Yes, we went to the Cosmopolitan, which was way different than I expected because I expected sort of a sleek, modern feel. Felt like bowling alley. <laughs> See, the mall, like lights, glitter. <laughs> felt like bowling alley. <laughs> it reminded me a little bit of roller skating. Maybe roller skating, yes. Where the floor is really those wild colors with the black mm -hmm. background, but it wasn't what I expected at all because I don't know the floors seemed really cheap and they had fleck in them mm -hmm. and so the fleck would glimmer and then the main bar restaurant was called the chandelier and it had all these dripping ju jewel pink jewelry things, things yeah like, like a chandelier or like you put on your Christmas tree mm -hmm. and so not what I expected at all um, I expected more like the loft, the Marriott loft chain where things are more upscale and more hip and it wasn't that at all. They had a section that was devoted to Alice in Wonderland. Yeah. <laughs> That's not upscale and hip to me. No, no. So that was weird. I'm glad we wasn't staying there. The music was pounding so you could never record a video. There's no way. Then we went That's across the street again to find dinner. Oh yeah, because we were gonna have dinner at the Cosmopolitan where they had a little like food court area, but it just did not pan out. There was not really much seating, and the food choice options were not that. There were there wasn't much selection that worked for us. Uh -huh. Let's talk about the food in our experience of Las Vegas, which was really like six hotels. But 
It's all the same. It's all the it's same. all bar pub food. I mean, unless you want to go, I think here at the Bellagio there are some really what I'm going to call frou frou restaurants. Very upscale frou frou, but we are not upscale frou frou no. people when it comes to food. They're like three hundred dollars per person. Yeah, we're not doing so that. It's going to be high, higher than a Morton's bill, and I just go to Morton's if I want to pay that. Yeah. So higher than Ruth Chris. Um, and so if you're not doing that, then the food all seems to be. Kind of like uh, uh, bar pub. It's pub food. It's it's hamburgers, chicken tenders, Cobb salad. Co yeah, it's it's uh, waffle every, fries. Every place has got the same menu. See, delivery food seemed to kind of be in that genre. Right. Too. Yes. Our first, night, our first wings. night. First night here, we were very tired. So first night, we did splurge and had overpriced room service our first night yes. don't regret it because we were so tired we and we just exhausted. needed to eat our flight was delayed but um it was the same menu where you could get a cheeseburger you could get a salad you could i mean it's the same menu everywhere yeah so that's been hard well because i can't eat spicy foods too to find but i mean there's no like i i would fall back on like a vietnamese place and there just isn't that here right um, a lot of things that are in wraps or sandwiches, which are really gluten-y for me, so I don't eat them. So it'd be like, oh, I could order that sandwich and pick the food out of it. So that being said, we ended up at the tourist spot of Bubba Gump. We, we went to Bubba Gump. Gump for dinner last night. We went to Bubba Gump. I've never been inside of Bubba Gump. I've seen them. There's one in Maui, but we have, we went inside Bubba Gump. And our waiter was named Joey, and he was from Seattle. Mm -hmm. And we just had a lovely, cheesy time and yep. ate a couple salads and a whole and, bunch of french fries. Yep. Salads and french fries, that was our combo for dinner. Yeah, and it was good too. Mm -hmm. We were full and we picked all the good stuff out of our salads. Uh, mm -hmm. Mine had shrimp on it, which didn't really go with the salad, so I ate them separately with the fries. I had chicken and it was fine. <laughs> <laughs> but then we went the other direction. We walked through Caesars, which is home of Hell's Kitchen. I did a little research. The show was shot on a stage and then in 2018, Gordon Ramsay actually opened the restaurant that looks exactly like the sound. Set. I've never watched the show. So I was I like, it's like it didn't look right to me. Well, that's because it's the new building. It was from 2018, not from the beginning of Hell's Kitchen, which is not in production right now because of COVID, but they still had back episodes from 2020. So they've been putting out episodes of Hell's mm -hmm. Kitchen. So we saw that and they have a, a theater production called The Absinthe that was opening right as we were going through right. and Caesars is under construction. So there was a crane and lots of yeah. things divided and Caesars up. Caesars was just very big and very loud. So it's very big and very loud. And it was a Greek theme instead of Italian, which looks a lot the same. Yeah, I didn't like that one very much though. What did it remind us of? Did it remind us of anything? It reminded us of being on the Royal Caribbean cruise ship that we took a few years ago. Yeah. yeah. So you can find that video here. I'm going to put an eye in the sky somewhere to that video of us on the cruise. But yeah, it reminded us of the cruise ship. But then we came back to our own hotel and realized there were whole sections we had not explored yet. So we went exploring our own hotel and we went to the conservatory. That was very cute. Conservatory. It's kind of cool. Kind of done up as a fall whimsical nature scenes with bears, you know, big bears and, and big over yeah big foxes and um big insects uh, yeah, it's a combination it of live plants and artificial flowers and it takes 125 people to maintain it wow it's a big job for them to maintain it and we're we were lucky enough to get here when it was open because they have to change it for every season. I, I looked ahead to make sure they weren't in the middle of changing it to oh, December. and we missed that, by the way, we went and saw the Bellagio Water Fountain. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> the we show. Really saw the Bellagio Water Fountain. I liked it. I thought it was really good. <laughs> I'm disappointed that it's such a short thing. I guess there are 35 different shows. So oh, okay. every time you go by, we could see it. Okay. We could happen upon a different so one. So we'll have to make sure we see some more. Yeah, I thought it went off for like a half an hour and it goes off for five minutes. And so we were like four minutes late. <laughs> So that was a little disappointing, but we stayed and we watched it the next time it went off. It's really cool. I can see why people come to the Bellagio who are staying at other hotels to see the mm -hmm. fountain and to see the conservatory because they are really cool and they are open to the public. So that was a wrap up of our first full day in Vegas. Please let me know down below what would interest you if you came. Would you be excited about Paris or would you be more excited about Planet Hollywood? Would, would, kind of thing well like and to note, neither of us are gamblers so we really haven't spent any time in the casinos <laughs> if you're wondering what vegas smells like 
Vegas smells like a skunk all the time. <laughs> yes, it smells like skunk cabbage all of the time or basil. <laughs> There seems to be an entire culture and the stores are all full of merch to that effect. So if you are coming to Vegas with the sole concern that you want to upset your mother, you can come to Vegas, buy all of the leaf merch <laughs> and wear that home and upset her. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so leave your comments down below. What's your favorite hotel or which hotel would you want to see if you were here in Vegas? I would love to hear your opinions. Do you really think that Cosmopolitan looks like a bowling alley? <laughs> uh, check out these travel videos here or this video down here that YouTube picked out just for you. <laughs>